Hello everybody, welcome back to the Gaming Entertainment Hub, and recently it looks like the, the current actor of, of Master Chief from the Halo TV series, known as, as Pablo O. Schreiber, has stated that, basically just made a, a recent statement where it has gotten a lot of <clears throat> fans of the Halo franchise, including myself, not so happy about you know, the current direction that they're going with the second season, or basically with the Halo TV series as a whole, and... And of course, it is actually rightfully so. And <clears throat> for those who kind of like might be a little bit behind the news, it looks like like he made a statement that the reason why he he keeps the helmet off off <laughs> is so that way he can actually convey emotions into the audience. But <laughs> to be honest, in my opinion, I think that's just absolute BS. Especially the fact that the Halo TV series has virtually nothing to do with the original source material, and <laughs> and the fact that he's actually you making that decision of saying, oh, to keep the helmet off, that basically goes completely against the source material because for those who have been a fan of the Halo franchise, Master Chief has, all, has kept his face more of, a, more of a mystery, which has been part of his trademark throughout the years. And, of course, right now, I guess I can probably save that little rant for later at the end of this video, but without any further ado, as always, let's go ahead and dive right into this article where it starts off saying that <clears throat> the Halo series on Paramount Plus has just debuted its trailer for the second season of the show. The first season was bad enough to be a frequent meme, and rightfully so. <laughs> oh, but the second trailer looked actually kind of amazing with its focus on Fall of Reach had, and some great traditional Halo action. Well, yeah, that's kind of like the, like the purpose of trailers, is, is that they're supposed to get you hyped up, up, up for the show and only, <laughs> only, for like, only for you to find out. It may, may not be that great to where it doesn't really live up to the hype, and, <laughs> and so yeah. And based on my, and based on what I've been hearing recently, yeah, it looks like it's going to be season one all over again, more likely. So with one exception, the star of the show, Pablo Schreiber, Shri if I pronounce the surname correctly, but hey, whatever, it is still refusing to keep his helmet on as Master Chief, both seen in the trailer and also in promotional posters, which goes against the source material, buddy. Come on, when you think of Master Chief, we think of him with the helmet on and not actually having his face, face revealed. <clears throat> and fans aren't even photoshopping his helmet back on the statement of what they are actually of what they are actually looking for from the series. That's just utterly refuses to listen to them. Yeah, <laughs> just so a quote from from Pablo commenting on the lack of Master Chief's helmet went viral on the, over the weekend, which explains why he thinks the move, move is necessary for for Halo on TV. So you're not going to be able to bring an audience along in a long form story without having access to a character's face, which tells you what, what they're feeling, how they think about everything, and that access to a <clears throat> character's emotional life over the course of time is what makes you empathize and connect with the character. Man, geez, Pablo, have you even like played the games or even saw like any other or live web series such as Forward Up to Dawn, where they actually showed, which I believe they did show Ochi at the, at the end of it, and didn't even like show his, oh, his face at all. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me, so... Yeah, this guy's a this guy's an idiot. So then he continues saying that I'm sorry, but it's the only choice for a long form storytelling in television. Absolute BS. What I would say to anybody who disagrees with that, I totally respect that opinion. But it is pretty basic a place to start when, <clears throat> and you are talking about making a television show of quality. Oh, <sighs> man, this guy. It's honestly that this guy has no respect for the source material and thinks that he's. Thinks the entire galaxy revolves around him. So then I thought this sounded a little familiar, and I realized that I <clears throat> that the IGN article that it's from uh, may have been published this year, but the actual quote from 2022, before the first season aired. This was near when it was revealed that the first place that Master Chief would show his face, though at the time, well, though at the time, I think most people were expecting a glimpse here and there, and not that I would have it off the majority of the time. And well, <laughs> I guess I said that word, Erdan. Yeah. Yeah, fans have been roasting Treber by posting examples of famous on screen characters that have done impressive emotional work while on the mask from Darth Vader to the currently airing Mandalorian series, plus examples of Mask Chief himself with a great lines and conveyed emotion despite wearing in the helmet in games. So it is true that in the books, Mask Chief takes his helmet off, but for the show, this sort of this is sort of a, in quotes, you have to know your audience thing, and the Halo series, at least, 
last season very deliberately demonstrated they didn't really care much for or the Halo lore or the fan base expectations. And while some lessons seem to have been learned from Season 1 for Season 2, the helmet thing remains a problem to the point where I have wondered if it is literally in Pablo's contract or something that he needs a certain amount on a FaceTime. <laughs> yeah, this guy... <clears throat> Honestly, this guy sounds like a narcissist because he likes to stare at his own reflection almost every, every single day. So in reality, the entire show could have been made with a fully matched chief played by a stuntman and his... And his his game voice, Steve Downs doing the lines, but clearly that would have been far better, or that's whatever Apollo was trying to say about the difference between the games and TV. In regards to the Helen thing, <clears throat> I hope that season two of Halo is a lot better than in the first, and yada yada, and all that stuff. And so, yeah, based on my take, looks like I'm, yeah, looks like I'm not really even that much of a fan, of, like with this current direction that they're going with the Halo TV series. It's saying, like, oh, no, it's not a kid. Oh, just because. Uh, well, well, it's not canon to the to the main series, but yeah, I get that. But just because it's not not canon to the main series doesn't mean you should use that as an as an excuse to do the complete opposite of what's already been established. And and man, like, come on, look at like the recent adaptations of other uh, of video games <clears throat> that have been like adapted to movies, like such as as like the Mario movie and Sonic the Hedgehog, for example. Yeah, sure, Aaron, like the, those those may have been like separate. They've been like a little <clears throat> a bit separate from the main series, but at least they, they remain true to the original source material that they were based off of. And and then and then also like, man. And of course, you know, season one was bad, and personally, I didn't, didn't even watch it. And just looking at some of the clips from season one, I just knew, <laughs> I just knew it would be, it would have been psychological torture just watching that, watching it. And <laughs> and sure, and, and despite the fact what we've seen from the trailer from season two. I'm probably gonna still keep my expectations low on that, and and man, just man, it, man, I think that's just like you know how what we get. I guess this is the kind of world that we live in right now, and, and it's really sad, and <clears throat> and so that's all I'm gonna be saying right now. But I'm I think that's the first all I can write about this at this point. And if you found this video to be helpful and informative, then then be sure to drop a like as always. And if you want more news, news regarding anything related to the Halo franchise then go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified whenever my next video is going to drop and got your own thoughts or opinions based on this recent decision by Pablo saying that oh I want to want to keep the helmet off so that way I can convey more expressions and it's despite the fact that if we if you had played any of, the, any of the Halo games starring Master Chief you could actually see a sense of emotional expressions despite the fact that he never even showed his face at all then well, go ahead and sign so off in the comment section below and get a, get a discussion going because I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. And thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you all in the next one.